Being able to find a bisector or cutting something in half is very handy because you can take a simple six-sided shape and double it to 12. You can take a five-sided shape, a pentagon, and double it and make a 10-sided shape. So we're going to do that. We're going to make a, one of the easiest shapes first, a hexagon, and then we're going to find the bisecting spot, the middle, uh, in between two points so that we can double the amount of sides. We start with a circle, the same way we would make the seed of life. Uh, we're going to put the point of our compass on the edge of the circle, make a mark, and where we leave off, we're going to put the point of our compass where we found that mark and make another mark. And we're going to do that all the way around. We want to make sure we don't change the positioning of the compass. It stays the same all the way around. I do notice sometimes my students will uh, hold their compass like this and squeeze it closed and it changes things. So here we have six even spaces and we can connect it to make a hexagon. However, we want to find the middle point so that we can make it a 12-sided shape. I'm going to pick two points and I'm going to find the middle of them using the bisecting method. I'm going to put the compass edge here. I'm using markers so it stands out, but normally you'd use pencil so you can erase the construction. And you can imagine halfways there. I want to make sure I'm going past halfway for this to work. I'm going to make an arc. And if you don't make it large enough, you can always put it back and do it again. Without closing your compass, you're going to repeat that on the other side. So these two spots are where we're going to line up our ruler so that we can find that middle spot. So the next set of six circles we're going to draw, we're going to start from there. So we're going to repeat the same exact process that we did when we started. So we need to reposition our compass, put the point back in, and adjust it so it's the same size as your starting circle. And simply place the point of your compass on this new spot. And you'll be able to make six even spots all the way around so that we have a total of 12. And wherever you make a new mark is where you put the point of your compass to begin the next mark. And so now we have 12 even spots. I will take a different color and use my ruler to connect the dots and make a 12 sided shape. And that is my 12-sided shape. You can see, you know, after you get to 12, it starts to conform and look pretty accurately close to the circle. However, to add some flair to this, we could um, connect the dots. And what I'm going to do is start with one dot and connect it to each other one. Then go to the next dot and make sure I connect it to each other one. And we'll see a 12-sided star. So now that we understand how to make a 12-sided shape or a dodecagon, we can make a dodecagram, which is going to be a 12-sided star. Um, that's a little bit different than the other 12-sided star that I made. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to rotate our paper just slightly so that this flat part is facing on top. And we're going to connect these two lines down here and make them parallel. And we're going to keep rotating our paper and doing that same procedure. So I'm going to start up here and go down here. 
and then I'm going to move my paper over and we're going to make parallel lines. So we can take a look at what we got here and we're going to continue this. We're going to simply rotate our paper and we're going to repeat that process. So now I'm going to go here to here and connect the opposite sides. And then I'm going to move my ruler over and make some parallel lines here. And it seems my marker is running out. Let's see if I can find one with a little bit more ink. Then I'll rotate it again. I find that doing it this way is a little bit easier to teach and to understand it. And we're almost done here. And we've got that beautiful 12 sided star. So that is how we do a dodecagram, a 12 sided star.